And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every single day. The hardest working man in the tennis business. And we are in the studio tonight taking a look at my top 10 Americans. That's right. I want to acknowledge there are so many amazing, talented professional ladies all over the world and especially here in America. But there can only be 10 on this American list and you have to be from the United States. Now, this list does not focus on rankings. I have to be very clear about that. But instead, 10 ladies from the USA that you need to watch out for this season. Number 10 is Jennifer Brady. That's right, 28 years old, 5 foot 10 from Pennsylvania, and she's got rockets. Jennifer did not have much of a junior career, but she managed to break the top 40, and she won seven ITF championships. She got her start at the Chris Everett Academy in Florida, where she trained with some of the best American coaches. As a youth, Jennifer was known to have a temper and this shows with her passionate, aggressive style as an adult. Jennifer's best surface to play on is hard, and with one more win, that will put her at 200 wins on the surface. We saw Jennifer have her best seasons in 2019 and 2020, where she had back-to-back 30-win seasons. I personally watched Jennifer improve year by year, and the 20 season would bring the biggest championship to date, WTA, 250 in Lexington. This would be her first main tour tournament after the COVID lockout and being sidelined after a brief injury in Charleston. However, up to this point, we saw Jennifer Brady defeat huge names like Ashley Barty in Brisbane, Maria Sharapova, Storm Sanders, Shue Heish, Elena Svitolina, Marketa Vondrosova, Garbinia Muguruza, Allison Riss, Laura Sigmund, Victoria Azarenka, Sloane Stevens, and even Sophia Kennan, just to name a few. The tournament in Lexington featured another star-packed cast, and Jennifer Brady would make her way to the championship match without dropping a single set. She took out Heather Watson in the first round, Magda Lynette in the second round, Marie Buskova in the third round, the future of tennis, Corey Coco Goff, she beat in straight sets 6 2 6 4. And in the championship match, she would defeat Jill Teichman 6 3 6 4 to become Lexington champion and win her first ever main tour title. But that was just the beginning, as Jennifer Brady would then head to New York City in the US Open, where she would make a deep run that no one expected. In the first round, she would take out Anna Blinkova in straight sets, 6-3-6-2. In the second round, she would take out Catherine Bellis in straight sets, 6-1-6-2. In the third round, from France, Carolyn Garcia would fall 6-3-6-3 in straight sets. In the round of 16, she took out a three-time slam champion and former U.S. Open slam champion, Angelique Kerber in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the quarterfinal match, another straight set victory against Yulia Putintseva, 6-3, 6-2. This would lead to the showdown with Naomi Osaka. And Jennifer Brady would come out guns blazing. The first set went to a tiebreak. Unfortunately, Brady would lose that 7-1. However, would bounce back in the second set 6-3, forcing a third and final set. Winner would make the U.S. Open Championship match. The third set was really competitive as Brady continued to fire off aces. She got 66% of her first serves in and won 72% of them. However, she struggled on the second serve where Osaka won nearly 80% of Brady's second serve. Osaka had 16 winners to Brady's 11 and three for four on breakpoint opportunities while Brady failed to convert on seven of eight breakpoint opportunities she had against Osaka. Osaka would win that match and face Victoria Azarenka in the championship, winning the 2020 US Open title. However, four months later, Jennifer Brady would find herself again in the biggest match of her career. 
the 21 Australian Open. In the first round, she took out Bolsova in straight sets, 6 1 6 3. In the second round, she took out fellow American Madison Bringle in straight sets, 6 1 6 2. In the third round, Iga Fiantek's best friend, Keja Yuvan, she took out in straight sets, 6 1 6 3. In the round of 16, she took out Donna Vekic, 6 1 7 5. And fellow American, big game Jesse P. Jessica Pegula would fall in the quarterfinals in a three set thriller. However, Jennifer Brady would take the third set in blowout fashion, 6 1. In the semifinal, Carolina Mukova fell in three sets, while Brady won the third set, 6 4. And this would set up another showdown with bigger stakes against Naomi Osaka in the championship match of the 21 Australian Open. Brady fought hard to get to the championship match, but her serving metrics would ruin her bid to become slam champion. In the first set, Brady barely got 44% of her first serves in play while winning only 64% of them. Brady lost 58% of her second serves in the first set and 70% of her second serves in the second set. 13 overall winners against the aggressive Naomi Osaka would not be enough to win the slam title. However, Brady would propel herself to number 13th in the world rankings. Unbelievable. But this is why you should watch out for Jennifer Brady this season. After spending nearly the last two years sidelined with knee and foot injuries, she's finally healthy. She was scheduled to come back last year at the French Open. However, foot injuries postponed that until Wimbledon. However, Due to the fast and slippery surface at SW19, the decision was made to return in Canada, Granby, Canada on the ITF. Brady would play 12 matches last season and win six of them against some of the best names on tour. She beat Anne Helena in straight sets in Washington, which is no easy job considering her range and shot making ability. Yelena Asapenko in Montreal, she beat in a three set thriller. Elena Rabakina, she went two tie breaks with and even won a set off of at Montreal. Donna Vekic, she forced another tie break at Cincinnati. But what about the US Open where she took out young, fast Kimberly Burrell, Magda Lynette in three sets, and she went three sets with Caroline Wozniacki while leading for most of the match. And having the opportunity to play a full season healthy, Jennifer Brady should find herself back inside the top 50 by the end of season. Brady's number 10 on this list because she's got an amazing serve. She averages about 14 miles per hour and she follows that up with a lightning forehand that most players cannot return. Jennifer Brady loves to play quick strike tennis, short rallies, and stretch opponents deep. If you're not falling victim to her five aces per match, then her aggressive baselining style and demeanor might intimidate you. Before the injury, Jennifer Brady was peaking and it was obvious she was headed towards numerous championships. Don't be surprised if Jennifer Brady wins a title this year. Tennis in a Minute, I'm your host, Get Energy. Like the video, show some love, and stay tuned for number nine.